Mm, sounds good. And uh, make it as spicy as we want, and um, it's uh, it's still very popular. We are okay. women's ties. It's be, it's because I mean, you'll you'll see at the end product. Hopefully, yeah. if we do it well, it should have the consistency when you sort of poke it with your finger of a of a woman's thigh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> well. Uh, People have different ways of different uh, preferences for the kind of ground meat they use for the meatball dishes in Turkey. And um, I use basically beef, but people like to use lamb sometimes uh, so like a mixture of lamb. Like half and half. <laughs> but you need to use some beef, ground beef, and well, onions, uh, chopped onions, well, parsley, uh, eggs, when she came uh, pre cooked rice. Uh, and um, and a bit of flour, uh, cumin, Moisture. I like cumin in it, right. uh, parsley, I think I've mentioned before, and seasoning, salt, pepper, I think, I don't think I've left anything out. Uh-huh. What? And is that a sort of, is that just a normal, kind of easy cooked rice? Well, it's, it's basically any rice that we would use to make any kind of pilaf. Right. But what, what we do is not to, uh, I mean, like, you know, we have to be very careful about the amount of water the rice was absorbed when you're making a pilaf. Yeah. In this case you don't. Right. It's the only thing that you really boil boil the rice pretty much because you want it you're going to drain it and you're not going to eat it as it is. It's going to be one of the ingredients. You know? right. So I'm just going to really cover it with some water and just you know and just let it cook for about fifteen minutes. It, it is actually yeah, it is. But what I'm going to do is just I'm uh, just thinking it's uh I might, I might as well it by hand. And to practice, you to start practicing the thing sooner or later, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think it's nice using knives that got weight, because then they sort of feel like they might be doing the work once you've got the sort of swing of it. Yeah. Well, the, the recipe uses, in the final stages, uh, half of the meat uncooked and the other half, which is going to be cooked and prepared, as I'm going to show you now. So we'll start by sautéing half the meat with chopped onions and uh, obviously in, in a mixture of, well, we'll start with vegetable oil only. We'll, we'll use the butter in the final uh, stages of, of frying, just don't want to make it more heavy than it, any heavier than it needs to be. And, uh, and the cumin will go in there, so we'll have the spicy meat mixture, but right. which, which will only use half the meat. Okay. And then the cooked rice and the raw meat will go into that, and then we'll make the patties and, and, and then we'll you know, dip them in, in the flour and, and, uh, and eggs, yeah. and then fry them. Is that a feature of all the sort of um, the various thighs available to sultans at that time? Uh, I'm, I'm sure there, were, there was a great, uh, great variety of thighs available to sultans yeah. uh, for a good 400 pair, I think, on a good day. So they must have used them in different, you know, different yeah. combinations and flavors. Different textures. Get some vegetable oil in a pan, and then add. Use this magnificent implement to add the, the onions. Okay. And uh, say about half the ground beef. Mm -hmm. Is about half there. And then just basically start to cook this together for a while. Okay. Shall I do that for you? Yes, would you mind? And then we can also season it as we yep. go a little. A bit of, the last salt. bit of salt will, you know, it'll need more salt because, you know, basically unsalted rice will enter the equation yeah. at some point. Yeah. And um, there's no garlic in this. No, there's no garlic in this. Which is very rare for my cooking because it's, um, there is garlic in most of the Yeah, yeah, me too, yeah. <laughs> And uh, black pepper. One find everything that begins with frying onions smells just terrific. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't really go wrong when you start frying onions. Okay. It's such a wonderful thing. And, yeah. Uh, the janissary haircut. I think. That's parsley. You know, in England, you have this um, 
curly parsley yeah. and the flat parsley. Yes. And when we say parsley, it's usually understand that, you took, that the studio is talking about curly parsley. But it uh, exists here. The curly it's, doesn't exist. The curly doesn't exist here. No, it's a very well, it, I mean, maybe it does, but it's, you know. No, it's, it's a very English sort of... Uh, I think it's funny, in England we use it as a, um, as a sort of semi-ornamental thing. It's like making a little box hedge in a vegetable garden. Mm -hmm. You might make a little hedge right. of, 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 of the curly parsley. It looks very pretty. Yeah. But um, it's rather out of fashion now. You all like to use flat leaf parsley. Right. It's it's more, um, well, it's, uh, it does have more flavour, doesn't it? It's got very good flavour. It's less, slightly less hairy when you, um, once it's chopped. I like this knife. I like the flavour. I'm terrible at ingredients, that uh, people say how much of that. I had no idea. I'm going to start putting all the remaining ingredients now to make the women's thighs, yep. meatballs, into the cooked part of the mixture. So that means the rice, okay? Yeah. The cooked rice. Uh, I think we'll leave it there. It's probably enough. And then in goes the uncooked meat. Okay. Okay. And and an egg okay. to sort of keep it together. To bind it, yeah. Okay. Now, um, and yes, and of course, I like lots of chopped parsley, mm -hmm. kind of thing. You don't want to cook this before because, you know, it just... It just goes to nothing. Yeah, it just wants to be still green and, and add this fresh yeah. texture and taste, yeah. you know. There. Okay. So basically, this will be what we're, what we're going to form into the kaftes, into meatballs, uh -huh. and then oh. <laughs> shall I start making them. Yeah. Okay. Basically, what we do is uh, the, 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 the trick, I think, is not to squeeze them too much. Almost risk them falling apart because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get them to, 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 to stuffy yeah. and solid. So you want them to be quite sort of airy inside. So what I do is sort of leave it at about that. I see. Quite yeah, flat. And the rest, I think I will make them as we fry them. Because yep. it just makes it more difficult to lift them off here, as you know, if, they, if I let them sit here too long. Because they begin to yeah, yeah. stick to the board. Basically. So we can just go on to the frying process. Okay. Now, okay. Now for the frying bit. Um, and you could use just vegetable oil, but I'm going to use sort of half butter, half vegetable oil mm, to make it more sort of sumptuous. Yes, more sumptuous, and also if you do it just butter, it's easier to burn it. And yeah. I think this is a sort of good and safe sort of compromise about you know weight heaviness and um but you're, and taste you're not very light on the oil there it's quite a decent well it's stuff. going to be quite a lot of you know quite a lot of meat and yeah. and rice is going to go in there yeah. and once this is basically melted What I'm going to do is to take, lift the meatballs, like that. They first go in flour, mm -hmm. just coat them lightly like that, that's enough. Then in the egg wash, mm. and then into the pan, to fry for a few minutes. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Well, there we are. Kitchen paper to absorb the extra fat. That's hard. I mean, you see, the taste will be so much nicer this evening when they're once they're cooled, and it's be so much nicer tomorrow. Gosh. Like all these things with more than three ingredients, like all the cold olive oil dishes, they all develop and so. Mm. It's very nice. The texture is lovely. The taste is good. It's fantastic. But I think, yeah, we could wait till it cool down too. Yes. And it'd be nice cold. It would nice change their texture as well, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, I suppose so.